Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine today, man. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a couple different items, man. Number one, this off-white soccer jersey. Number two, my very first pair of off-white sneakers that I've ever copped. Before we jump into the review on here, man, I wanna say thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. We just hit over 22,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys being here. If you're new to the channel, if you're not subscribed here, you don't know what goes on in this channel, I mean, we do pretty much everything. We do some sneakers, we do a podcast that we drop twice a week. It's called the most underrated podcast. You can check that out as well. And then something a lot of people are really excited for that we're going to be bringing full time to this channel real versus fakes, man. I know you guys have seen the off-white Jordan 1 UNC. That video did really, really well. I got a lot of good feedback on it. And overall, I think those kind of videos just help the sneaker community on what to look out for. The first real versus fake we're gonna drop is the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low. I'm just waiting on my pair to get here. I got both the real pair and the fake pair on the way. The real pair coming directly from the Nike sneakers app. So that's a video I'm really excited to share with you guys. Really looking forward to that one. But without further ado, let's jump into the shoe. Actually, before we get into the shoe, let's jump into the jersey, man. This is the Nike Lab off-white soccer jersey. Super, super sick. Now, off the rip, let me let you guys know I am not a soccer guy. I don't watch a lot of soccer. I don't play a lot of soccer. The only reason I don't even know the rules to soccer is from playing a bunch of FIFA in college. I have some friends that are really, really big into soccer, but I'm not that guy. So I'm not, I didn't cop this off of like, yo, I'm the biggest fan of international soccer. I copped this because I thought it was a really dope, high fashion piece, and it actually goes really well with the checkerboard Volk Lows. So before you guys are in the comments like, oh, he doesn't even know anything about soccer and he's copping the soccer jersey, it's a swag piece, man. It's strictly a high fashion swag piece. I really, really liked the jersey. I thought it was super dope. I love the materials. And so that's why I bought it. That's what I do. I see something I like, I buy something I like. It's really no deeper than that. Let's get into this joint though, man. As far as the jersey, it is a very, very lightweight, nice, dry fit, uh, breathable, dry fit type of jersey material. You know how Nike does. Now, I did have to pay resale for this jersey, man. I was not up on this when it dropped at all. I paid resale for the jersey. As you can see, you got uh, your Nike Lab tag on there. $150 was the retail price. And then you got the StockX tag because that's where it came from. Now, before we look at the details, let's talk about pricing. This joint retails for $150. I got it for $185, which I thought was an absolute steal. This is a large, I've seen the larges going for as much as $225, $250 after I bought mine. I think right now, I just looked yesterday and there was a, there was a large on there for like $195. So overall, resale is not too high. If you're patient, you can probably get a price that you want to get on this thing. I think the $150 retail price is right on par with your NFL jerseys, your quality, authentic, letters stitched on really nice NFL jerseys 150 bucks usually at a team store so with this being 150 off white high fashion piece I think that's incredible value let's start over here with the Nike check and this is uh it's not 3m I don't even know what this is called but you know when the the uh, check is reflective and they actually made it reflective with the orange to match all the orange hits all over the jersey so you go to the other side here you've got the Dutch crest and a bright orange which matches the off-white font or uh, branding on the front there and then right below you've got the debossed lettering really pops out there and it says outfits and sporting goods suppliers for another Academy and then to finish off the front you've got this big dot big paintball looking splat right on there on the front. I have no idea what that means. There's also a big orange one on the back. I don't know if it means anything. I don't know if it's just part of the design. Off-white kind of does some crazy shit sometimes. So boom, you got the blue one on the front, orange joint on the back. Also the bright orange 12 on the back. This is actually Virgil Abloh's number when he used to play soccer as a youngster. So Virgil being a big soccer fan, his number was 12. That's why they put 12 on this jersey. That I do know. All right, as you move up top, you've got the nice collar there. Very official, like a referee with a whistle. A little EPL style going up top. EPL, listen to me, like I know soccer. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you got the collar up top. You can pop that if you want. Very, very nice. The jersey is pretty wide, but it's... Um, it's not that long. So as far as the fit goes, I'm about 6'1", 195, and a large. I would honestly like it a little bit more slim fit, but I just don't think that's not how they made them. If I got an XL, it'd be a little bit longer, but it would be wider, and I don't need wider. You know what I mean? I just need a little bit longer. You guys will see in the photos. I think it looks pretty good, man. We shot an on feet for the shoes with the jersey, so the whole thing looks super fire. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it on the jersey there. Off-white Nike Lab soccer jersey. 150 retail, I paid 185 off StockX, not bad. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the shoe. Virgil Abloh, off-white branding there, and then it just says off-white in parentheses on the bottom. On the back side, big old SB, off-white there, official shoe box. 
Then you turn the box around and you've got this paper with all the detailing of the off-white Volk Low. These actually came from Sense, so you've got your barcode there with a 46. This is the uh, Euro sizing, the 46 over here, which I will get into in a second. But let's pull the shoe out, take a look at these bad boys, man. First up, look at this, you open the box, right at the box, bam, you get the nice mint dust bag. Actually, I don't know if this is mint green, this might be like green tea. You get the green tea dust bag here. So here we are, man, the off-white Volcolo checkerboard, bang. Look at that joint, man. Give you guys a little look around the shoe. We'll go into all the detailing and everything here in a second, but let's talk pricing before we take a look at the shoe. These shoes retail for $250. I paid $300, 50 over retail, which I thought was an absolute steal. If you're somebody that's on StockX, man, you can set your price, you can really watch your prices, you just gotta be up on it. That's exactly what I did with these. I saw these going all over the place. I knew I didn't wanna pay more than about $325 for the pair. I just kept an eye on the pair on StockX, saw somebody put a pair up for 300, got the notification, Snatch them bad boys. What do you know? Your boys got a pair for $313.95 with the shipping. They're definitely not going to be that price today, especially in the big sizes, man. The bigger sizes like this, they just go for a bunch more. I don't know why. You're definitely looking over $400, $450 for these joints in this colorway. Maybe even more for the all black pair or the all white pair, which is pretty steep, man. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do with your money. I wouldn't pay that for the shoe. I think that's just a little bit overpriced considering the shoe is pretty similar to like a Vans, you know, your checkered board Vans. Obviously you have some things and some details that differentiate this shoe, which is why I was willing to pay 300 for it. I don't know if I'm willing to pay over four for it. Now, as we jump into the shoe, man, there's so many cool little things to love about this shoe. And I know a lot of people are in the comments and be like, oh, you paid way too much. You could pay $90 for a Vans and da 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 Listen, you do you, I'll do me. Last vid did two. I'm just trying to do three. Nah, it's a Jay-Z line. But anyway, man, yeah, I really like these. Damn little mans, I'm just trying to do me. If the wreck is two mil, I'm just trying to move three. Starting with the uh, upper here. You've got the canvas checkerboard upper moving down to the side you've got the off-white branding there with the x and this is actually stitched underneath the suede patch that goes over the lace holes so that's kind of cool there just the way they made it look i think that's dope you got the, the uh, little c 2018 down here turning the shoe around moving to the inside you've got the off-white branding on the inside of the shoe everything we've come to know and love from off-white pretty similar to uh all the other shoes there all the collabs and then you have this red plastic piece. I saw a lot of people whining about this so that they weren't a fan of it. I think that shit just looks super, super dope, especially on feet. When you have both these shoes, if someone only sees this side and then they see the inside of your other shoe, like there's a couple really dope pictures that I have where the shoes are just kind of hanging on my feet. I'm sitting up on a ledge and that, that red just, it pops. Dude. It looks super, super sick to me. I love the fact that it's translucent and you can see all the checkered underneath of that. We actually have three different uh, midsoles going on here. You've got the all black rubberized piece that goes around the front. Then you have this uh, where the white construction stripping starts and goes all the way around the back And then you have that little break in between the, the two with the red there Let me show you something else going back to this construction uh, stripping So you see the off branding right there now This is like a white outsole and then this is like I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this on camera, but this definitely is uh, It pops up off the sole. This was definitely looks like it's pieces that of rubber that were added after the fact which I love because you can feel the texture of the striping on the shoe. It's not like they just took the shoe and painted the stripes on there. They actually built it into the midsole there. So these stripes are texturized, you can feel them, and they were actually glued to the outsole, or I don't know exactly how the process was done, but really, really dope. It looks, it looks nice, man. It looks better than if they just would have painted it to me. Moving up to your laces, obviously your off-white zip tie, and the laces are actually one of my favorite parts of this shoe. Not only because they say shoelaces and they're a nice creamy color, but they've got the orange dyed lace tips, or dipped lace tips, sorry, not dyed. You've got the Plasti Dip orange lace tips. This is something Off-White does. This is not new to uh, this sneaker. They've done this on quite a few sneakers, but I always think that looks dope, and it matches the orange hits on the jersey, which really just sets it off for me. Once I got the shoe in hand and I noticed that, I really loved it, and then once I saw the Off-White jersey had the bright orange hits as well, I was like, man, I gotta have both. I gotta rock the combo. Moving up to the tongue, you've got the off-white branded tongue, off-white Virgil, white black C2013. It's just a little patch, kind of a uh, rubberized patch. Same paint and kind of materials as the checkerboard on here. They just painted a longer strip and then put that patch on there. On the back side of the tongue, it just says Euro 46. That's it. Very, very simple, simple sizing, simple branding. 
And then obviously you've got the off-white logo on the inside of the insole there. Exact same on both sneakers. Now moving to the bottom, or the outsole, this is the uh, really crazy part, man. Look at this thing. It almost looks like Boost or like a popcorn ceiling. You know, you ever had to scrape your popcorn ceiling or after you kind of scraped it down a little bit? It's a little flattened out. But I think that's a really nice touch, man. This uh, canvas bottom to the sneaker instead of just your regular standard bottom or jacking the waffle bottom from vans or whatever you know i think this adds its own flavor to the sneaker which i really really like as well so overall on these joints man are these a must cop absolutely not i mean the price of 250 dollars is already a little bit steep but it is a high fashion brand so you know that price is going to accompany the sneaker at 250 I absolutely love them at 300 I absolutely love them at 350 i still want to cop the shoe anything more than that i start falling out of love and then i got to make some decisions i might have to sell some other shoes in my collection maybe sell one gr shoe just to to get half the money to justify paying half for these. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not trying to spend your guys' money, man, but I don't know if I'd pay over $350 for this sneaker. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, review on this shoe and the review on the off-white jersey. Stay tuned for the on feet. We shot some dope pictures and video in this whole outfit. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. As always, thank you guys for supporting everything I do. I love the shit out of y'all, and I will see you fools tomorrow. Fame free. Price of this life, 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 life. Price of this life, fame.